Oh, we're on Flat Tower. I thought it was going to be St. Mare du Monde, or whatever it's called. Uh, someone left me a comment to talk about something. It was, oh my god, WTF crits. It said, how to deal with a quarter-life crisis, the whole finding who you are, your purpose, career, etc. Thanks, you Sniffledorf. Well, I appreciate that comment. Not sure I should help you with your quarter-life crisis if you're calling me a, uh, a Sniffledorf, but I fe I'm feeling generous today, so I will do. Um... I think you just got to... The thing is, I didn't find out what I wanted to do, what I was good at, until it was too late. It wasn't until my second year of uni. It was probably around the FIFA 12... Oh, that's a that's not a uh, grenade at all. That's a mine. So, usually someone always comes this way. Forgot I even had this mine on, but... Right, well, shouldn't have to worry about anyone coming from my left. Should we move forward with this dude? I'm giving the Lewis a go. Just because I think it is absolutely silly how good this gun is. Obviously, I don't have my full setup. I've got no idea where any of them are. I do think they should consider upping the... Well, lowering the recon plane school street points to 400. Just to make games go a bit quicker. And make it a little bit more realistic for teams who are suffering to get back into it. Oh, God. Dirty. Dirty ass gun. Right. See what's around this corner. Probably someone who's going to kill me. Great. I was, I was bigging up the Lewis about how it, people get round corners and I get the kill, but apparently not. Oh, he's been baited. He's been baited. He's been baited. Somehow he's gotten away with it. I'm dead. Oh, I killed that guy. Let's put that down. At least I only have to worry about one direction now. He 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 lived through that. Really? He lived through this. Wow. Okay. Well, I did not see that coming. Um. Yeah, I didn't discover until then what what I really wanted to do and what I was really good at. Going through school, I never really knew what I wanted to do. I think growing up, I was like, oh, do the typical, I want to be a footballer. Because, you know, that that was a big boyish dream, wasn't it? Even though I'm really not that great at football. Oh, I play a fair bit of football now. I'm not hardly anything special. But not. it's not like I play with two left feet, although some would beg to differ. But I think... At school, I there was not much that really got me super motivated. The only thing I really was good at and kind of enjoyed was sports science, especially stuff to do with like the heart and respiratory system. I just, I just seemed to click with that stuff. Like, oh great, that stuff I just remember seemed to remember very easily. Why does everyone keep? Playing like a donut on this goddamn account whenever I get on it. Never have this problem on my main. I've got like a 2.05 KD on that. It's gone up from teetering on a 2 to... I got it up to a 2.08 the other day, but then uh, obviously some of the games... Like, I've, got, I've, got, I've just got no idea where anyone is on this bloody map because there's no UAVs, there's no idea what my team are doing. And it's really pissing me off. Just want to play a game of COD. I don't know whether to sit still or run around like a headless chicken because I don't know where anyone is. And I get punished for both. Have we swapped spawns now? Because there's a guy in our spawn. There's a teammate in the spawn we're sitting in front of. Oh, teammate. Thought you were going to let me get that kill. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't until then that I realized, you know, like maybe video editing or YouTube or social media, you know, community management, stuff like that, that I really got interested in. And those kind of jobs haven't really become 
super important and relevant until recent years, to be honest with you. It's like they are becoming very common jobs in all areas of life, just not just like in gaming, but in like all businesses need social media managers, community management. If I could go back to uni in like sixth form, I'd probably have started looking at media studies. Maybe even business study, although I had no interest in business studies and media studies at the time of going to uni and stuff like that. So it would have been a bit of a, a catch-22, but it's something that I would want to know about because I feel like it would be relevant to those kind of jobs that I'm actually quite interested in, like content management and stuff like that. But that's how that goes, and I think you just got you just got to find something you like. Like there's a handful of people who you could argue YouTube is not really it wasn't a consistent way of living, but people knew what they wanted and they went for it. And sometimes you do just have to put everything into it. You've just got to put every ounce of effort into what you want to do. If even if it's not a realistic option. You never know. You put the option, the work in. You find, you take the opportunities that are given to you. You can get something out. You can get the work that you want long term. I mean, it it frightens me how many people who I knew f back from YouTube and gaming who didn't really have a qualification in what they were doing or didn't have any you know real intentions of getting something out of what they did, but they loved it so much they put all that work and effort into it, and now they are sitting in nice, beautiful jobs just because they believe that they could get them and i think sometimes people do need to you know just believe in themselves a little bit more is like even professional gamers all they do is play games and they get paid to compete at tournaments it's like if you believe it can work then hell why c why can't it work you know um as far as your purpose you j i would just say what is it that you find benefits you the most in your lifestyle like what gives you a real calling what is it you love doing what are you good at how can you turn it into you know a source of income i think it's just about discovering yourself if you haven't found it yet that doesn't mean you won't ever find it it just means you're a bit s later at finding what it is that you like doing or you find enjoy it more um and I think you do obviously have a sip of water. You do have to be a bit level headed about it. You can't just say, oh, I'm the best at this, even if, you, or like, you know, go into a really oversaturated market and expect to, you know, come out of it making bare peas. It's not always going to work out like that. And you do have to be a bit realistic about it. But the, no one's going to tell you, no one's going to fault you for putting as much effort into something as possible. Um and still say that you're not going to get anything out of it, even if you're slaving away. Um, and I guess that's that. Like, uh, As far as yourself, I think you as a person will always evolve and grow, and that, I think that's, that might sound like a very basic and obvious thing to say, but the amount of progress and like change as a human I made in the past couple of years is, is phenomenal. You know, like moving out by myself, being able to look after myself, uh, just getting on with people a bit more. Oh my god, what is that? Not relying on others to do stuff for me. I think before I, w I couldn't really stand to live with someone else, but now I'm like living with my girlfriend, about to look into getting a house with them, and you know, I love it. I love doing that stuff now, and the things that I really hated doing before, I now love. It's like vegetables, I don't I don't necessarily love vegetables, but I don't mind eating them now. See, this Lewis, if you can get it, if you can get the right attachments for it, and sometimes a decent connection, it absolutely blows people away. FMJ, I was running FMJ, Quick Draw, and Extended Mags, because if you've got Extended Mags, you never have to reload, and there's no point putting Hustle on, because you basically get 100 rounds in a, in a clip. Really wish I didn't have this mine on, but... There you go. 
how did I know that s despite the fact there was no reason for them to spawn out back there? I don't know if he flanked. I think someone else is here. Yep. So the spawns, not only is this a terribly made map, but the spawns are absolutely dreadful. Get wrecked. But I think you will always evolve. You, things you might not have liked before will f will work for you now. And if you even if you don't find something that you're terribly in love with, sometimes that uh, not to put a Debbie down on things, but sometimes people are just not cut out to find their their one true calling in life. You know, some of us are stuck to working office jobs, and there's nothing wrong with that. You've just got to make sure that you do the best job you can in those in those situations, and you do earn a lot of money so that. You can do whatever the hell you want when you aren't working out on there. And sometimes work in those 9 to 5 jobs where your commitment starts at 9 on a Monday and it ends at 5 p.m. on a Friday is quite liberating because whatever happens outside of that, as long as you're hitting your targets, there's nothing really else to worry about. You don't have to worry about your investments or what you're doing. It's just about making sure that things work for what you're required to do, I guess. And I know sometimes... It is a little bit harder to talk about these on the fly when I'm playing a video game. So sometimes it, I might be repeating myself or just saying words and hoping they mean something if I change the the order of the, the words around. But... See, look at the sexiness of this gun. Sex E. That's why they call it Big Lou. Big Lou will take a poo on you. That's what they call it. Big Lou and his big poos. Excuse me, get out of the way, scoreboard. Well, now I don't know where they're spawning, because apparently... Okay, well, that was stupid of me. But they're about to, to get... The liaison bomb! Swan Tom Bomb! Jeff Hardy! What the what what the hell? Did that just did that actually just hit a flag? Did that just hit a flag? Me! Well, I finally get some kill streaks in this goddamn road to Commander, and it's ruined! By the by a flag! By the way, Lookout is a sexy perk. I don't really watch Wings of Redemptions videos, but the other day, I can't remember what brought it up. I think someone might have favorited a tweet of his, or I might have found a YouTube in a suggested YouTube video in a suggested uh, video column. And uh, I just decided to watch it, and he said the best perk of the game was Lookout, and I completely agree. Like, it is one of the best perks on the game. The fact that you don't have to ADS, and you, you will see their name across the map, is awesome. Look. Ridiculous. Has everyone quit or something? Because there seems to be a distinct lack of people in this game. I don't really want to go down that way because I think... Oh! Nade! Oh! Right, that guy's absolutely got no bloody clue that someone was literally standing behind him, but I suppose sometimes that happens. Please kill him because I'm a little bit nervous up here. Put that down. Sometimes you just gotta let fly. Oh god! Ah! Hide inside. Oh god, was that a guy? Didn't look like it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh no! What does this dude do? No idea. Ow! Don't give me the sniper. I was going to say, of the four guns that are sitting there, please do not give me the sniper. That would have been devastating. But what am I going to say? Um, just don't worry if you don't find yourself. Like, if you are getting to that 25-year-old mark, don't worry because there's still time in life. And time is very forgiving in that sense. That... Oh god. Right, he would have the sniper. Just keep 
your eyes peeled. Keep putting yourself out there. Try new things. I think that that is that is solid advice. It's taken me this long to get there, but if you haven't found something yet, just keep putting yourself out there. If you haven't found something you click with, just keep putting yourself out there because eventually you will find something that clicks and you will find something that you enjoy. And you'll never know what you enjoy or what you're good at or what you like if you don't try as much as possible. If you try a load of things, you're not sure about them, you don't like them, then try some other stuff. Keep mixing it up. You never know. If you found some things that you're like, oh, maybe I quite like this, try a bit harder for it. Push it a bit more. See if there's more opportunities into it because one opportunity could lead to another. I mean, I studied a degree in nutrition and exercise. I ended up working as a gaming video editor. So, like, two complete opposite ends of the spectrums there. So, just keep putting yourself out there, mate. And uh, eventually it will come through. Hopefully I've given you some sort of advice and wisdom in this entire thing.